Hello friends, the topic of today's discussion is Pattesis reagent. In this, we will cover the following points. General introduction, methylation of different carbonyls using Pattesis reagent. Under this head, we will discuss mechanism, different examples and chemoselectivity. Ring closing metathesis using Pattesis reagent, conversion of sulfoxide to sulfide and selenoxide to silane by Pattesis reagent, conversion of pyridine anoxide to 2 methylpyridine by Pattesis reagent, and the last point is further advantages of Pattesis method. Dimethyl titanosine is known as Pattesis reagent. In a more simple way, we can represent the Pattesis reagent like this. It is prepared from titanosine dichloride and methyl lithium or methyl magnesium bromide. A variety of carbonyl compounds react with Pattesis reagent in THF or toluene at 60 to 75 degrees centigrade to produce terminal alkenes. Here we can see that the overall transformation is the replacement of carbonyl oxygen by methylidine group that is CH2 group. These carbonyl compounds are aldehyde, ketone, ester or lactone, thioester, amide or lactam, carbonate, anhydride and emide. Mechanism for the conversion of carbonyl to methylidine. This is Pattesis reagent. For the purpose of drawing mechanism, we can represent Pattesis reagent like this. Under heating condition, Liberation of methane gas like this produces titanosine methylidine, the resonating structure of which can be drawn like this. Titanosine methylidine is a typical Schrock carbene being an electron deficient 16 electron complex. It is nucleophilic at the carbon and electrophilic at titanium. This behaves very similar to the Wittig illid, but the titanosine methylidine is generally more nucleophilic and less basic than Wittig illid. The higher nucleophilicity of the carbon enables it to react with even less reactive carbonyls like ester, lactone, amide, lactam carbonates etc. The carbon of titanosine methylidine attacks on carbonyl carbon and the carbonyl oxygen attacks on titanium to generate oxytitanocyclobutane which undergoes ring opening process to liberate titanosine oxide and product with the terminal alkene. The driving force for the ring opening is probably the formation of a strong titanium oxygen double bond. Now we will discuss some examples. Before that I would like to request you to subscribe my channel and press the bell icon if you like this. These are the examples showing conversion of aldehydes and ketones to their corresponding methylidine compounds. These examples are from the original work of Pattesis et al. published in Journal of American Chemical Society in the year of 1990. These two are the examples for the conversion of aldehyde to terminal alkene. These are the examples 
for the conversion of non inulizable and inulizable ketones to corresponding methylidine compound this is the example where alpha beta unsaturated ketone has been converted to diene these are few representative examples for the conversion of esters and lactones to corresponding vinyl ethers these three examples are from the same paper we have just discussed in this example dilactone has been converted to divinyl ether by the reaction of three equivalents of pattesis reagent these are the two examples where alpha beta unsaturated esters have been converted to corresponding vinyl ethers i have picked up these three examples from a review published in journal of chemical society perkin trans 1 in the year 2002 these are the two examples showing conversion of silyl ester to silyl enol ethers by the use of pattesis reagent this is the example showing conversion of thioester to alkenyl sulfide and this is the example showing conversion of acyl silane to alkenyl silane all these examples are from the work of pattesis et al published in this tetrahedron letters paper these are the two examples showing conversion of amide to enamine the remaining three are the examples for the conversion of gamma beta and alpha lactams to corresponding enamines the yields are not written because these could not be purified and they were used directly in the next next step these three examples have been picked up from the same tetrahedron letters paper and these two are from previously discussed review these are the two examples showing conversion of carbonate to protected ketene by the use of pattesis reagent this is the example showing conversion of anhydride to mono and or dimethylenated compound with the overall 70% yield here the product distribution ratio depends upon the equivalence of pattesis reagent used use of one equivalent of pattesis reagent yields 10 is to 1 ratio of mono to dimethylenated product two equivalent yields 2 is to 1 while four equivalents yields exclusively dimethylenated product this is the example of conversion of imide to mono and dimethylenated products in this case 1.5 equivalents of pattesis reagent yields exclusively mono methylenated product while four equivalents yields 1 is to 20 ratio of mono and dimethylenated products reactivity order of carbonyls with pattesis reagent follow the general trend aldehydes are the most reactive ketones are less reactive than aldehydes but more reactive than esters amides are the least reactive this is in accordance with the decreasing electrophilicity of the carbonyl carbon from aldehyde to amide thus based on this reactivity order you can guess the chemoselectivity if a molecule has two or more of these groups for example if we allow this molecule having lactam and aldehyde group to react with 5.2 equivalents of pattesis reagent only the more reactive aldehyde group gets converted to alkene similarly 
if we allow this molecule having aldehyde, ester and cyclic carbamide group to react with 2.5 equivalents of Pattis's reagent, only more reactive aldehyde group gets converted to alkene. This is delta keto ester. This reacts with one equivalent of Pattis's reagent to produce this exomethylene compound where more reactive keto group is methylenated while less reactive ester group remains intact. Selectivity can also be obtained due to strict hindrance. For example, this sugar derivative has four pivolyl ester groups and one acetyl ester group. If we allow it to react with three equivalents of Pattis's reagent, only less hindered ester that is acetyl ester group gets methylenated. I have picked up these two examples from the Journal of Chemical Society Perkin Trans Review. This example is from the same Jack's paper we have already discussed. And this example is from the Journal of Organic Chemistry paper. Ring closing metathesis. Reaction of olefinic esters with excess of Pattis's reagent produces cyclic enol ethers. It is anticipated that the first equivalents of titanosine methylidine generated from Pattis's reagent reacts with carbonyl to produce enol ether A. Enol ether A again reacts with titanosine methylidine via 2 plus 2 cycloaddition reaction reversibly to produce species B with titana cyclobutane ring. Fragmentation of B gives species C with titanium alkylidine group. Intramolecular 2 plus 2 cycloaddition gives species T with titana cyclobutane ring. Now the ring opening like this produces cyclic enol ether. For example, this olefinic ester when treated with 10 equivalents of Pattis's reagent in THF under reflux generates this cyclic enol ether. This result can be rationalized like as ester carbonyl first reacts with in situ generated titanosine methylidine to produce this acyclic enol ether which undergoes ring closing metathesis with titanosine methylidine to produce cyclic enol ether. This example has been picked up from this general article. Now we will discuss reaction of Pattis's reagent with sulfoxide, selenoxide and anoxide. Sulfoxide reacts with Pattis's reagent to produce sulfide. Similarly, selenoxide reacts with Pattis's reagent to produce silane. Mechanism for the conversion of sulfoxide to sulfide. This is sulfoxide and this is titanosine methylidine generated from Pattis's reagent. Sulfoxide oxygen attacks on titanium to generate betaine intermediate which undergoes cyclization to produce metallocycle which after ring opening liberates titanosine oxide and sulfonium elite. The sulfonium elite decomposes to sulfide upon standing due to inherent instability. The same mechanism can be applied for the conversion of selenoxide to silane. 
this is the example showing conversion of diphenyl sulfoxide to diphenyl sulfide and this is the example showing conversion of diphenyl senoxide to diphenyl silane using Patesis reagent these examples are from this angiochem paper reaction of pyridine n-oxide with Patesis reagent in THF at 60 degree centigrade gives 2 methyl pyridine mechanism involves attack of oxygen atom of n-oxide to titanium atom of titanosine methylidine in C2 generated from the Patesis reagent to produce betaine structure which undergoes cyclization to produce this bicyclic structure with five membered metallocycle now the five membered ring opening like this releases titanosine dioxide and generates 2 methyl pyridine the driving force for the ring opening is the aromatization and formation of a strong titanium oxygen double bond this is one more interesting example where we can see that there are two non-equivalent positions ortho to the nitrogen of an oxide but methylation selectively goes to position number two to generate two methyl isoquinoline this example is also from the same angiochem paper further advantages of Patesis method dichlorotitanosine can react with a variety of alkyl lithium to produce dialkyl titanosine for example it reacts with benzyl lithium to produce dibenzyl titanosine and with cyclopropyl lithium produces dicyclopropyl titanosine these reagent behave very similarly to dimethyl titanosine and reacts with a variety of carbonyl compounds for example dibenzyl titanosine reacts with this lactone to produce Z in all ether and this dicyclopropyl titanosine reacts with this lactone to produce this in all ether